Hey everyone, welcome to Bug Smashers. I'm your host, Mark Gabent. I'm here to take you behind the scenes on how we smash bugs. Bug Smashers! So hey guys, I am here in another fun test level and got a report of a bug, or I should say a crash, when we bring in an AI uh, constellation. So let's give this a try. Constellation. Drag that guy in. Let it load. Ooh, big ship. Now, it's building all the shaders for him. All right, so let's pop in the game. Do, do, do. Pop out of the game and see if we can get that crash. And crash. Ah, crash. So this is actually a specialty crash. Uh, we have these things known as fatal errors when uh, the code gets into a specific section of code. The programmer may add this fatal error saying you should never get here. If you get here, here is a complete um, call stack so that we could log it and try to figure out how we got to that spot. And so this specific um, call stack, or I should say crash, uh, save, not save the level, hit the breakpoint. We'll go to here. Uh, so this is our component batch updater. So we have an entity, or this constellation, and it may be composed of a bunch of entity, or I'm sorry, components like uh, physics, geometry, interactions, all sorts of things. And if they want to do an update, they go through this batch updater so they could get batched in a multi-threaded update or in a regular main thread update. And you're not supposed to be able to register these updates when the entity is shutting down. Because when we shut down the entity, we remove all the components, we remove all the updates. And so if you're trying to register an update during this phase, well, bad things will happen. So we want to know when people get to this point. And unfortunately, the editor is a little special child where da, 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 on the same frame that we destroy the uh, interior, or I should say, the, all the entities in the level, we actually create it again. So what we have is um, uh, the constellation getting deleted and then getting created. Now when something gets deleted, we mark it as garbage, and that's how we know it's going away. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be removed. It's, just, well, it's basically, oh, I have some trash cans, I throw some trash away. Garbage man hasn't picked it up yet but he might tomorrow, might today, might sometime later. And this bit of code was only checking to see if it was in the garbage bin. Uh, technically, uh, you shouldn't be able to register when you're in an update, um, when you're in garbage, but it shouldn't be a fatal error either because it, you could register, but it should just abort out. And only during the actual shutdown phase should this go. So we're gonna change this bit of code so if we're in garbage and our entity is actually really, really shutting down, the garbage man's coming to pick them up, then we'll fatal error because something serious has gone wrong. Otherwise, we'll just skip out. Because, well, and we only want... Ooh, do, do, do. Actually, we just want to skip out all the time. But we only want the fatal error if we're shutting down the actual entity. So we threw it in the garbage bin. If someone um, registers for an update, it'll just get ignored because this thing's going to get deleted. There's, the, 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 It's just a little one of those funky things where yeah, you marked it as deleted, but none of the components on there know it's getting deleted yet because, well, we're not in the process. So for now, we just go, yeah, we'll just ignore this update because trust us, it's going to get removed and we won't crash the game horribly. Instead, we'll just softly ignore it and then the game code will delete it sometime later and everyone will be happy. All right, so let's give this a compile. All right. We're back in the amazing test level. Let's see what happens when we plop down another AI constellation. Let it load. Boop, doo, doo. Ha! 
there we go. And now, we'll hop in game mode. Ooh, and then pop out of game mode. And no crash, right? Ah, no crash, perfect. So, you know, the entity deletion phase is a little bit tricky, because you always have to uh, inform certain systems some things are getting deleted, but you don't want to inform certain things until you're in the actual, yes, this is a deleted phase. Uh, since this is one of those, you know, lower end systems, it needs to know where we're exactly we're at. And then once we get to the actual shutdown, then the components can know where they're at too. Uh, so that in-between phase is kind of one of those weird things where you have to get just right, especially when you have editor and game code, which do things a little bit differently. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. So as you guys saw, we had a little bit of an uh, issue with the designers. They were hitting part of the code that would stop the game because they were hitting a spot where um, we did not want the code to run in that area, but at the same time, the editor was doing something special where the, getting to that section of the error was technically a legit path. So we had to change the code a bit so that it will still not hit that specific section while still allowing the editor to do its little specialty. Uh, just another day in game development, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time. Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.